Lindsay, as is customary in this show, we ask our new challenger to give us his story. What's the Lindsay Peck story? Well, I'm 22, single, I enjoy fishing and golf, and I'm a printer. A printer? With whom? Sydney University. Oh, so you get to print their newspaper and all their documents and... Yes, yeah. I'm examination glad I'm... papers. Oh, right. Well, Lindsay, because it's round one, you have first choice, A or B? B, thanks. B. Everybody plays, and in match one, I mean in game round one, every match is worth a point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what show are we on? You said that beautifully. Carol Ray said to Dave Gray, oh, God, You me. should get a stronger pair of glasses, dear. That's not my ear you're whispering into, it's my blank. <laughs> it's Carol Ray. Charming. <laughs> Carol Ray said to Dave Gray, Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should get a stronger pair of glasses. That's not my ear you're whispering into. It's my blank. <laughs> That's a true quilt. <laughs> that was a terrible impersonation of you, Carol. I do apologise. Don't. I, I should have made it James Mason. Oh, oh no. I <laughs> <laughs> won't do either. Carol. Well, I was confused by you doing that beautiful impersonation. Lindsay. Carol Ray has said to Dave Gray, you should get a stronger pair of glasses. That's not my ear you're whispering into. It's my... Nose? Nose is a good answer. <laughs> I don't think you've lived until someone's whispered up your you nose. Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and they do if you part your hair sideways. That's right. They're whispering your nose. That's right. I've got three gags and I can't do any of them. <laughs> John. Carol Ray said to Dave Gray, you should get a stronger pair of glasses. That's not my ear you're whispering in, it's my... Nearby, I put hair. Hair, whispering uh, into the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Nolan, do we have a, a yeah. nose from you? Well, looking at Carol's nose, there's no way you could whisper in that nose. There's only no, a whisper of a nose anyway. That's right. So, knowing Carol always comes on the set with a handbag, I said whisper in her purse. Uh, whisper in your purse? <laughs> Well, I, I, Excuse me, may I whisper in your purse? purse. <laughs> it's vaguely obscene, isn't it? <laughs> Just in case it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I'm not going to read it again. Well, being as how I was the one that did the whispering, you yes, see... you would know more about it. You see, it. Lindsay knew exactly... Our match. Match. It's a match, Lindsay. <laughs> what did you say to Dave Gray that made him whisper and where did he whisper? I'm, I'm very distressed at this point of time because I actually wrote nose and then changed it to mouth. So nose is in there. Can I have that back? Sorry my love, no. I'm sorry. Once you throw away your nose you've cut oh. away. <laughs> Stuart a nose? I won't even tell you what I threw away. <laughs> I, I saw it. I saw it. Now well, what happened? Dave's glasses were very, very bad for him, and Carol was wearing those terribly high shoes. Oh, I see. And yes. so he whispered in her neck. Navel! <laughs> Navel! How yes. about that? Oh, I like today's <laughs> program. There's all this whispering going on in little crevices in the body. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly said orifices. <laughs> Peggy Tapano, the violinist. Yes. <laughs> Carol Ray said to Dave Gray, you should get a stronger pair of glasses. That's not my ear you're whispering in. It's my blank. No. Nose is a match. <laughs> <laughs> Round one continues. Melina, for the 60th, for the 60th wedding anniversary, old George and Joyce Wilson said... Ah, oh, oh. here we go. <laughs> See, they've been married for 60 years, so they've got to be, what, 80? They said. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> so this is me working up an old. <laughs> oh, uh, it takes longer as you get up. Uh, <laughs> get <out of> for <laughs> their 60th wedding anniversary, <laughs> old George and Joyce Wilson said, give us something useful. So their family gave them his and her blanks. Oh. His and her blanks, Carol. Oh, For their 60th wedding anniversary, old George and Joyce Wilson said, give us something useful. So their family gave them his and her blanks. Oh, dear. 
something. <laughs> Everyone's looking <laughs> <and> right. <writing. laughs> yeah. Come on, Peggy, oh. that's a girl. <laughs> you don't like what you've got, no. do you? No, I know. <laughs> Melina, for their 60th wedding anniversary, old George and Joyce Wilson said, give her something useful. So their family gave them his and her... Electric blankets? Electric blankets would be nice for old George and Joyce because they live in Melbourne and it gets cold in Melbourne. John, I would bet $5 million you haven't got electric blankets written down. <laughs> Would you, mate? <laughs> what have well, you got? very old-fashioned. Towels. Towels. His and her towels, of course. Nolene? Well, I'm very practical. It's his and her pacemakers. Pacemakers? <laughs> for the heart, you know, for the heart. <laughs> Dave, his and her... Well, being as they were very old, I put wheelchairs. Wheelchairs is a very sensible answer. Yes. Poor Peggy is sweating because she knows she hates oh. what she's got written yes, down. She knows she's going to be asked in a minute. Carol, what do we have? I was going to put diamonds because that's the diamond wedding, 60, 60 years. years. But I thought his and her diamonds, they couldn't afford that, so I put... Towels. See? Stuart? No I've got match. a feeling they may not need because they've probably run out of requirements. What I've put, which is toothbrushes. Toothbrushes? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let's get it over with quickly, oh, Peggy. Just flash it up like for me. It. Teeth. Oh, teeth. Oh. Funny. <laughs> Join us soon for more Blankety Blanks. We've got to sell this stuff all over us. And so sadly, we don't have time oh. to play another round of Blankety Blanks. Oh. Oh. Is that rock? Yeah. Oh. Is that oh. So we would like to say good night now to John Paul Young. Thank you, John, for being with us. Thank you. To Carol Ray, to Nolene Brown, to Peggy Tapano, the violinist, and to Stuart Wagstaff, who's also a musician, he blows his own trumpet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and Dave, I just want to say this to you. What? Get out. Oh, <laughs> don't be like that. No, I just want to say thank you for being with us. You're, it's, you're very more than welcome. Have I was you... going to tell you about Cyril just before you go. About Cyril rode into the western town. Yeah. And he walked into the bar and he said to the bartender, Excuse me, where's all the men in this town? And the barman said, they're all in the main street watching the sheriff hang a fairy. Cyril said, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. New challenger, it's Nolene Eldridge. Welcome, Nolene. <laughs> in 25 words or less, Please tell me your story. Nolene Eldridge, this is your life. <laughs> well, I live at Sylvania Heights. Sylvania Heights. I'm past the age of birthdays. <laughs> I have two children and my main interest is music. Music? Do you play the violin like Peggy Tapano? No, I sing like Peggy Tapano. <laughs> Not as well, but in the same You're a field. singer? Yes, I am. Oh, well look, um, after we've played around, we'll forget this muck and uh, <laughs> do a little production number. Concert. All right. Because you're our challenger, A or B? Uh, a, thanks. A. In round one, every match is worth a point. I'm getting to know this game. Oh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody plays. Not many people know this. Oh, it's not many people oh, know this time again. Right. But between shows, we keep Dave Gray locked up in a filing cabinet. <laughs> we file him under F for blank. <laughs> not many people know this. But between shows, we keep Dave Gray locked up in a filing cabinet. We file him under F for blank. Can I pass? <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, blank can be two words. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, so, you know, you might want to put uh, two words there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Johnny. <laughs> Nolene, not many people know this, but between shows, we keep Dave Gray locked up in a filing cabinet. We file him under F for... Well, I think he's a nice one, but I'll say fool. Fool is a good answer. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, poor Dave. Oh. <laughs> Mine wouldn't have matched. Mine was two words and had wit on the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Mine would... 
time you do that, they leave it in. <laughs> However, just in case. <laughs> little edit there. John Paul Young. Yes, sorry. Not many people know this, Dave Gray. F for... Want to make a bet? <laughs> no, not this time. I'm nervous. Okay. Fool is a man. Oh, good on you. <laughs> Nolene, not many people know this, but between shows we keep Dave Gray locked up in a filing cabinet. We file him under F4. Well, sitting right next to him, I'm not going to write fool, am I? No. I mean, make two of us. No. So I've got funny man. Funny man. <laughs> Funny man. <laughs> oh. oh, Dave, you're the only one that knows the correct answer because it's you that's in that file and you know that you're filthy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever happens, can we always have Dave Gray? <laughs> always. Always. And Carol Ray. No, I am afraid I agreed with my friend Nolly. Funny. 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 Uh, Stuart, what do you think? I funny think, I think face. he's funny. Well, funny, funny I, I just face. added face for fun. Yeah. Funny, oh, shut we, up. Put him in, <laughs> we put him in a filing cabinet and file him under F4. Funny yeah. fool. Fool is a man. <laughs> Lindsay, the patient said to the psychiatrist, Doctor, why is the couch covered with melted butter? <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, what sex was the patient? <laughs> Busy day. Well, I think we're getting back into the kicky oh, area yeah. again. <laughs> And the doctor said, well, because my last patient thought he was blank. <laughs> the patient said to the psychiatrist, doctor, why is the couch covered with melted butter? And the doctor said, because my last patient thought he was blank. Blank can be two words. I don't think I'd say I wouldn't, uh, Stuart. Uh... I just had a sneak look at Stuart's answer and he's being very naughty. <laughs> and he speaks very well of you. Yes. Dave's locked in already, so is Nolene. John Paul Young is in, as is Carol. Peggy and Stuart are having a little trouble there. It's a tiny bit of trouble. Having this drawn a blank there, have you one. loved? Doesn't matter, we can always... That's all right. That's good. That's good. Not really. Come in. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah, hey, Bob. Smells, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, patient said to the psychiatrist, Doctor, why is this couch covered with melted butter? And the doctor said, because my last patient thought he was... Margarine. Margarine <laughs> is a very rotten answer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. It's just that, no, I would have thought of something different and I think John Paul Young has probably come up with the definitive yeah, I, answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Graham, Clarified, I, I, I watch right. him all the time at Cook. The Graham Care. Clarified, Clarified butter. butter. Clarified butter, because the, yes, oh, my last patient thought he was terrible. <laughs> that's a, that, when you think about that answer. He got better. It's really good. He oh. was a good psychiatrist. Yeah. Cleared I, it all up. He, <laughs> instead of the blue unction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it makes a nice change, I suppose, from Johnson's baby oil on the rubber sheet. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Nolene, have you got an answer to this very strange question? I'm the patient said to the psychiatrist, Doctor, why is the couch covered with melted butter? And the doctor said, because my last patient thought he was blank. Well, he was a good egg, but he was scrambled. Scrambled, because my last uh, patient thought he was scrambled. That's a funny answer. Ah, oh, no, well, you know where butter comes from? Yeah, of course I do, Dave. Fully as a gentleman. <laughs> I mean, pardon? What? Uh, where? What? You know where butter comes from? Yes, I do, Dave. So, a uh, last patient thought it was... An old cow. Oh. Mm. A cow, because butter <laughs> eventually comes as the result of milking a cow. Yeah. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Shamed of your answer again. <laughs> <laughs> well, not ashamed, but I think the patient thought he was an artichoke. Yes, you see, I'm thinking asparagus. Uh, yeah. Melted butter That's over it. food. I'm thinking about I that. don't eat as well as Carol, just a piece of toast. A piece of toast is <laughs> a very good answer. Uh, Peggy? I thought he was a cake. A cake is a good answer too, I guess. But why didn't anybody think of asparagus? And I don't know. Things yes. you would I'm have lots of melted butter on. Yeah. I can't spell it. <laughs> 
But he knows ten jokes about it. I beg your pardon, Nolan. I'm sorry. No, no, come on, Nolan. No, no, no. If you want to run the show, you run the show. Have a little chat. Do five. I'll just sit here and fan myself. Thank you, Nolan. Back in a minute to play Blankety Blanks. We've got to sell this stuff to you. And eating myself silly and drinking.